Outside Lands takes over this little section of Golden Gate Park and kind of becomes home for the weekend. That's kind of the great thing about Outside Land is the food is probably as important as the drinks, as the music, so you kind of get a bit of everything and because it's local Bay Area, it's like naturally you get different cultures, different styles, different everything. The most special thing about the food at Outside Lands is that all of our food comes from Bay Area restaurants. So the, the local restaurants come here, I help them learn how to translate their operation to a festival environment and also translate their menu to a festival environment. So we've got a lot of different food areas at Outside Lands. The Bay Area has such a huge diversity of uh, different styles of cuisine. So we try to represent that here and have as, as many different styles as possible. There are kind of your classic festival foods that you see from festival to festival. Like we've got currywurst over in Beerland. We've got Nepalese dumplings. We've got Cambodian fried chicken all the way down to like Sicilian pizza. So we've got just a huge variety of anything you can imagine. It's been such a tough year for restaurants and I think coming out here and doing this event, being around people, being able to serve their food, being able to actually see their customers face to face, I think it's so important to them and it's just kind of like a rebirth. Everyone I've talked to here is in just such great spirits and it's just, I think this is what we all needed. We have two booths, our first uh, restaurant Sun's Edition. So we've been here for, I think this is the fourth year. Um, and then Otra, our other restaurant in Lower Haight, this is our first year doing the polo field. So two different fields, which is, presents some challenges, but fun. We're doing a pork sandwich, so a carnita sandwich, and then fries with chorizo gravy. And then Otra, we're doing a bit more like what we do in the restaurant, so it's carnitas in a tostada form, really good. And then a vegetarian option, which is our sweet potato taco, um, which we sold so many of last night. So. We went through a pretty messed up year, so I think people are like ready to get out, people are ready to drink and eat food, so it's good. It's really a tasting experience uh, for people just to be able to get turned on to a new wine and meet the winemaker, it's really cool. We think it's a big driver for the festival, for people as an experience. There are a lot of new wineries actually this year. I wanted to really get a lot of newness in here and it's fun to program it like you would the bands and have new bands, new, new wineries each year. So RD Winery is unique in that it's a Vietnamese owned winery. Hey, how's Hi. it going? Welcome. Great to have you guys here. You know, Brendel Winery is owned by Heights Cellars, an iconic Napa Valley uh, winery and they have a new, new brand called Brendel and I'm very excited about. I'm just really happy to be back out here and celebrating with the crowd and with all the winemakers and the chefs that are out here. It's really special. Beerlands is a celebration of Northern California's best craft beer. It's an opportunity in a festival setting like this to explore uh, everything that's going on in craft beer in Northern California right now. I see people come back here. You know, they go see a band, they come back to Beerlands, they go see another band, they come back to Beerlands, so it's kind of an anchor spot. We're super honored to be here. This is our first time being at Outside Lands, um, and being Bay Area natives and having come to Outside Lands, um, just as, you know, guests before we even started the brewery, like, this is such a huge event for San Francisco. Um, we were incredibly honored to be invited to participate this year. This is amazing exposure for our brand. You know, hopefully we're connecting with some people who've never heard of Pond Farm. And it's also just really fun to be here. It's great music, there's great food here, um, and we're, you know, among really good company. There's lots of amazing breweries being featured here. This is a great way for people to check out kind of a, uh, you know, whatever kind of beer you like, there should be something like that here, uh, if I've done my job right. The energy is, you feel it, you know, people just seem to be super stoked to be back out in, a, in the crowd again. And I think a lot of what Outside Land brings that, uh, you know, maybe other festivals or other experiences doesn't, is just this curation across the board. It's all highlighting local, highlighting like smaller businesses, and, and that's really cool, and that's kind of what San Francisco is all about. <laughs>